Today we're going to be talking about how to create a brochure in Microsoft Word. Now we'll be using Word 2007, although I will explain how to do the same thing in earlier versions of Word. Now there are two ways that you can create a brochure in Microsoft Word. The first is to simply use a brochure template that Microsoft provides, and the other is to simply create it on by yourself from scratch. To use a template, you would choose that Office button, New, in Microsoft Word 2007. In earlier versions, you would simply click File, New. And you'll notice that there's a lot of different templates that Microsoft provides. One of them is called Brochures. And these are all the brochure templates that are available on Microsoft Online. Obviously, you're going to need to have a, an internet connection to be able to download it. Simply click on the one you want click on download and after a brief pause Microsoft will download the template and let you see where it is you can start adding text so you'd add your company name you'd um, add photographs basically it's nicely set up and you could simply play with what you want Notice this particular brochure template has places for pictures, has nice little call-outs, and so on. Very nice, but you may want to choose to do it yourself, and you might want to choose a much simpler way to go. The simplest way to start is you get a blank sheet of paper. Using page layout, choose a landscape orientation, because you're going to be folding this brochure three ways, and then go into the oh, right on page layout choose columns and choose three columns now it's going to give you a three column brochure but it's going to give you margins of one inch all around so you'll also choose to make your margins half an inch all around that'll give you a little bit more space for your brochure at that point you now have three columns and you can simply add whatever it is you need to the brochure now in a, a, a page formatting program, you would use things called uh, text boxes to really choose how you're going to place it on the page. In something like this, you're just going to simply use paragraph marks to move your text around and um, place things where you want them. So I'd add my title. I might boldface it change the formatting, make it bigger text, center it perhaps, whatever it is I need. I could simply click where I need to end a line, press enter a few times in order to give myself some blank space. You'll notice on this particular brochure you can see little paragraph symbols. That's because the button that Microsoft calls the show hide button is turned on. Working in things like formatting, I've often found that this is really useful. One thing that's very nice is to insert a picture, which is going to be on the Insert tab or the Insert menu. Find the picture you want and simply insert it right into your document. The trick to using pictures is you right-click on the picture choose text wrapping and instead of inline you choose square. What that allows you to do is resize your picture and have your text flow around the picture. These are the simple tools and you can go to town from them, that point on.